Today, we're gonna be feeding some of our giant snakes, and we're gonna see if we can actually feed our 20-foot pythons, Juliet and Lucy. It's that time of year where things start turning on to food, but we're gonna go ahead and start with Ivy. She's gonna get a giant meal today. First things first, we're actually gonna get Ariana out and put her in her tub. Last thing we want is for Ivy to be eating her pig. Ariana tried to steal it, and then we have an eaten anaconda. So we're gonna put her right into her tub real quick. Wow. We'll offer her some food in a minute. Let's feed Ivy. Ooh, I'm scared. It doesn't look that intimidating. Looking at a diving platform and you're like looking from below, you're like, oh, that's not that bad until you're up there and you're like, oh wait, this is actually way taller. Feeding the snakes doesn't seem scary until you're like actually feeding it in person and you're like, ooh, this is actually very intimidating. It is so crazy how strong she is. Righteous. So this pig is actually about 13 pounds. So it's not the largest one we ever gave her, but we do the larger meals every couple weeks just to make sure that, you know, she's getting all the nutrients, but then we like do the smaller rabbits and stuff because she's getting so big now. Can you imagine when she's 300 pounds? I can't. We're gonna have to feed her a child. And while we're talking about feeding these amazing creatures, specifically the snakes, I'm gonna show you guys some of their teeth too because it is wild. Yeah, Mike's the regular tooth fairy over here. Right, Michael? Take the teeth, no money. Okay. These are actually some of Ivy's teeth that we found cleaning and stuff. Boas in particular, and anacondas Can are part of boa. I'll give you that teeth. I wanna look at it while you're so, talking. So, this is a relatively like thicker tooth, probably because they, they have to reach up, they pull and wrap their food, that they need thick teeth, so that way their teeth don't break. You know, like when you tie a string to a tooth when you lose it and you pull it out. I've never done that before. Have you done that? Of course. That's scary. You really? never just dropped the bowling ball neither? No. <laughs> It might, did your parents make you do that? No, we did it to each other. Oh, where's the supervision? We have this empty cage here. We have a rhino rat snake that I think we're gonna go ahead and put in here. Let's get started. So this I just found outside. It fell off of my birch tree out front. I treated it with uh, bleach and let it dry out. I think I kind of like the way that looks. So I've got some plants of different sizes. Baby Monstera, so it doesn't have any of the fenestrations or the cuts in the leaves yet. These ones I think are the ones I'm gonna put up in the corners. I think it's gonna go right here so it has a chance to climb up and go around everything. I think I'm gonna do one in the bottom and maybe one up here. Some color up there too. I'm just gonna use this little pot. This is a filler plant. And then this one is called Polonia Repens. It's a really good one to put on the ground and cover the ground. So those will go and go in the bottom too to just kind of fill it out. This will grow up a little bit taller too and kind of fill in the middle area. I think that'll be good. I just need to grab two pots to foam in right here. And honestly, I don't even think I need to foam this in. It's in there pretty stable. You sure she's not going to hit me? Look, she's falling already. Like I said, once it opens all the way, she's gonna fall, you put it right to her face. Look, fall. There you go, perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, my arm is shaking, that's heavy. Woo, high five. Like confetti. I'm like shaking. <laughs> it's exhilarating. It's like riding a roller coaster. How is that new condo energy working for you? Picking up chicks at all? I'm not even moved in yet. Next up are my girls, Juliet and Lucy. These guys actually were off food a little bit for the winter, and that happens pretty typically. But once the weather starts to warm up, you know, they're getting into that situation where they're like, it's time to start feeding. But let's go ahead and see if they're going to take some meals. You hungry? Yeah, you are. Oop, 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 oop. Uh, it's so exciting. Lucy's back on food apparently. And now we gotta see if Juliet wants to eat because if they do, then they're both gonna eat. This is so exciting. Juliet doesn't look very exciting. Oh, yeah. Oh! Ooh. Heck yeah, man, that's so awesome. Both the giant snakes ate. Lucy's on food. Juliet took again. It's the first time that they're both eating together. It's so exciting. You tell them, Tooth Fairy. Okay. I guess which one's the Lucy tooth? Yeah. Oh, I gotta look. Shake them up. Shake them up so I don't know. Go ahead. I already see the Gemma and the Lucy tooth. Mm. I'm, my hands are shaking from feeding Sunrise. I'm an adrenaline junkie. What can I say? Now, where's the Juliet tooth? What we are looking at is this one is actually a Lucy tooth and this one is actually a Juliet tooth. Now, what's crazy about that is both of these snakes are just about 20 feet. Look at the size difference. Oops. That sucks, dude, I hate what that happened. We can't have you losing your teeth. This is your most precious collection. Three, four, five, five. Boop, boop. Well, don't put them all back. I, I just, I tooth. have these two. They're all relatively close in size. Ivy's isn't as long. Why are you just smiling? That's I don't weird. know. That's because weird. I feel like I'm like a table right now. That's why. Now, this is actually crazy. You can't even see it in my hand. This is a Bugatti tube. And so Bugatti is like five feet long, which that... is still a relatively big snake for most people. Do you see that Tiny. in your hand? Like it's it almost like just blends boo -boo. in. Snake bites aren't as bad as you think they'd be. Except unless they're like a 20 foot snake, then you don't want to get bit by that. But otherwise, like most snakes, like regular size snakes, it's not that bad. My pot's here and we've got some 
pond foam. We're gonna go ahead and get the two pots up into the corner. Forgot before I do this. This was a water cage. Not gonna do the water feature anymore just because it's kind of a pain in the butt and the rhino rat doesn't need it. So let's go ahead and pull that out. reason why reads these have giant teeth is you watch the old videos too because Miss Brian actually went to in Indonesia and they had to get a map and then they had to go find a, a retake and then they actually eat bats and stuff right out of midair. So we're going to show you how they catch it because I want to see this episode. <laughs> go watch the YouTube. Go, go. Hey, hey, hey. Do the bushes right now. Oh no. Oh! So now we just take it and we're going to give it to this her. This is like, like feet up and like this. Oh, oh, wrong side. Oh. But you grabbed it. Ah, jeez. Do you need help? Ah, jeez. So I, <laughs> I don't think you could have done that without me. I think I did all of it without you. Is that? you just, it's yep. locked. Locked Nobody died. But just like that, see how fast does she reacts to that heat signature, including me, because I'm a big target. But then that's why they have big teeth, because they have to grab it. And they have to go through the feathers, the fur, or the hair on whatever they're trying to eat. There is hair everywhere. And the reason things really turn on to food this time of year is again, the weather is changing. And even though we're always the same weather here at the Reptarium, we keep it at 82 degrees pretty much year round, they can still sense the barometric pressure, they can sense the cooler temperature, and oftentimes snakes slow down. Now, a lot of our snakes eat year round, but we have several animals that go off of food, and even the ones that are eating regularly will really start turning on and become much more into food this time of year. So this is the time of year we wanna pack as many pounds on these animals as we possibly can. False waters are scary, and that's true, not false. The foam is dried. I tried out some new stuff, and I think it looks pretty cool. This like green moss and this lichen. I don't know, adds an extra little touch. But now it's time to do the planting. So we have to do our false bottom. We've got our expanded clay balls to have ABG. So let's get started. Go for it. Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> yeah, good job. You did great, Connie. That was. Really, really good. It was good. my first time here. Let me do a little trial and error. The difference between male teeth and female te teeth. What? The difference between male teeth and female teeth. Oh, I thought so you So go ahead, go ahead. Right to his face. He also doesn't really strike at rabbits all that much. Oh, I lied. So see what he did right away is he actually reached, grabbed, and then pulled it to him. So male retic, I cannot say retic today. Male retic teeth, if you kind of look, it is super flat, almost like a triangle. They're designed to bite and rip because they actually fight each other for different females. Of course, they're super long still because of what they eat. That's why it's so important for them to have razor sharp teeth because they need to fight. Right? What? Yes, what do you got on you, dude? Battery powered sprayer so I don't have to do the stupid pumping anymore. We're moving up, huh? <laughs> yeah. You're like a Ghostbuster. That's what I thought. It's so much nicer than. I like it. I wish we had one of those over here. I have a hose. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What are we doing next, Mike? I don't know yet. Hi. Oh, hi. Nice to see you there. Oh, hi. Ah. Connie? Uh, I'm want, here. You want to do this one too? The party doesn't start until I arrive. Something, something, something. Alright. Okay, we're done. We're done. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, whoa, my God. Can you stop? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Mike! Yay! Up, 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 up. I Dirty. I love rabbits. Don't you touch me. It's so cool to see two giant snakes eating at the same time. And these guys are legitimately close to 20 foot. Lucy being over 20 foot and Juliet just shy of 20 foot. But you have to keep a close eye on them because if for some reason one gets done with its meal early and goes after the other one, you're going to end up with a big spaghetti knot. But seeing that these guys ate and finished about the same time, let's go ahead and see if they'll take another meal. Round two. Wait, what did they say? Cut? No, wait, what? Action. Action! I thought she would the second time, but they both took a second rest. That's all that matters. YOLO. Now we just gotta make sure they don't eat each other. Can I pet her while she's... No, 
Lori said this thing's nice, but I don't know if I believe her. <laughs> well, yeah, let's get him in a new home. <laughs> Mike, you want to hold it? They've got that little nose there that they'll use as like a little lure. I don't know. I might have to replace this plant later. It's kind of like floppy. He might knock it down. Don't That's be so hard on yourself. It looks yeah. great. Yeah, it looks good for now. <laughs> All right, round two butterscotch. Connie, you want to do this one? I mean, I uh, gotta go to lunch. Okay. Yes, I'm feeling butterscotch. Bye, Condor. Two, just on myself today. Good thing I got you, Jay, because I'd probably be dead. There she is. Come on out. Woo hoo hoo! Up and at him. No, she got it! <laughs> Round two! Oh, oh, that's a nice big lump right Sheesh! Sorry, girly. How come that one went so well? She even caught it on the head, but whenever, whenever, whenever anybody else is here, I can't do that. You like that self-rewind? Oh, here it he goes. Hey! Heck yeah, man! That's awesome! The reason why I love talking about teeth and I love collecting them and I love showing them because evolutionarily speaking, it is awesome and science. We already showed you the Juliet tooth, which is massive. It's like a vampire bang. But look at this. So I have actually two teeth of Carl's here that I found over the last couple of years. And if you look, that's not even the biggest Carl tooth I've ever found. I don't know what happened to it. Just think about this. His head is, let's say, twice the size of my thumb. That's the tooth of a four and a half, five foot snake with a two of my thumbs. That's insane to think that a 20 foot snake with the head the size of my hand if not bigger has almost the same size tooth but it is skinnier because we know these guys are going to eat very very fuzzy mice that like to climb baby macaw or any other bird that lives in the amazon because when they land or they fly by that's when they strike and then the teeth have to go through all the feathers because i don't know if you know this but birds have layers of feathers little feathers and there's bigger feathers and there's bigger feathers bigger feathers and then there's the biggest on the outside they gotta go through all of that and then they have to rip so they can't get out because if that bird flies away, Carl, it might be, you know, two, three months before another bird perfectly flies by his face like that. Unbelievable to think that that snake has almost the same size tooth as a 20 foot snake that weighs over 200 pounds and he weighs like four. That was really fast for Ivy though. Typically it takes, you know, a couple hours for her to like map it out and then actually try to eat it. That 13 pound pig took her about an hour and 10 minutes to actually like map out. And then we noticed she started eating it and it was gone within 15 minutes. Now the downside is a big meal like that. My favorite part of the anacondas is the pee, the poop. So she's gonna be doing that for the next eight days. Thanks for spending time with us. I hate you. Holy moly, look at Ivy. I mean, she just finished that giant meal and she looks so big. I remember when we first started feeding her 20 pound pigs, it looked like a giant lump in her. Now she's gotten so big, don't get me wrong, it's a big lump, but nothing like it used to be. These are giant snakes and I absolutely love them to death. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you in the next one.